Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking to you about living in Chicago and some of the, the pros and cons and really just what my experience has been and whether or not I think that it is worth it to live in Chicago. So let's get into the video. So I have been living here coming on three years now this summer will be like the three year mark. I moved down here in 2020 with my boyfriend because he had a job down here. Although it was right during COVID so everything was kind of shut down but at that point we weren't sure when people would have to start going in person again. And I think that the biggest downside that I have found is probably not a shocker. It's really just that it's extremely expensive in the city. I mean, rent is very high. Um, most places, at least in the downtown area, the cheapest like one bedroom apartment you can get that's actually like somewhat decent is like 1700 to like 2000 a month. And the public transportation is decent, but it's not fantastic by any means and if you want to have a vehicle in the city paying for parking is crazy especially if you are downtown i mean expect expect to pay like 200 to 300 dollars a month in parking and it's really just everything like even going out to eat or ordering food in um there's like such high tax on it they also added recently like a 3.5 percent tax to your food and then there's also like a chicago fee on everything really they just find any way they can to like tack on more fees and then because it's a pretty touristy city anything that you want to do is going to be more expensive that being said there is a lot of things to do unfortunately for the first like year or so that we lived here we didn't get to do too much because everything was shut down during covid but after things started kind of going back to normal a little bit it's just so convenient because anything that you could think of really is within like walking distance i mean that's dependent on where you live i guess i should say like it's not far away but that kind of leads me into like location and what kind of neighborhoods to live in and this is very dependent on what you are looking for when we first moved down we lived in uptown area which is north of downtown and then our second year living here we lived in gold coast which is not like right in the loop it's a little bit north of the loop and then we now kind of moved back up further north but coming this summer are going to probably end up more so in the downtown area there's a whole story on that that i will link down below if you're interested but it really depends on what you're looking for obviously the downtown area is going to be more expensive and it is also typically i'd say like younger people depends on the neighborhood gold coast was mainly like 30 40 year olds but that's just because it is very expensive to live there but i would suggest that if you are moving to the city it is best to live downtown if you actually want like a good experience not that living where i live now is like an awful experience or anything this neighborhood definitely has its perks but it's still pretty expensive and it doesn't have as many things to do or pros in general about living here compared to downtown. And again, like the transportation can be quite difficult. Once you've been on the train a few times, um, it's pretty easy to figure out, but it's mainly just the timing of the trains. They're delayed a lot of the time. And if you don't make the train at a certain time, it's usually about 15 minutes until another one comes. And then it still is like a 30 to 40 minute train ride from where we are right now to get downtown. But then driving isn't really a great option because paying for parking downtown is insane. So transportation can be difficult and that's why I suggest like if you want the experience of living in the city, actually living downtown is probably the most beneficial because in that case like you can walk 
a lot of places as well, which is more convenient. But I think that when moving to really any big city, you should consider what you're trying to get out of it. I know that since I'm, you know, 24 right now, that it is a fun experience, but I definitely wouldn't want to raise a family here personally. But if you are, I think that considering what neighborhoods is better for that based on schools or just even if there's more children in that neighborhood. I grew up in a smaller town area, so the people are quite different in Chicago. I think that they typically have like a harder exterior. You can kind of tell the people who were raised here and then the people who weren't. So I found that like making friends in the city can be more difficult because people aren't as inclined to entertain small talk. Everyone's pretty busy and mainly just trying to mind their own business. The main way that my boyfriend and I have made friends in the city is from work. And depending on your job, there are a lot of job opportunities here. However, I found that they're more competitive because there is more people in the city. But overall, that's just like a little gist of the things that you should think of my, what my experience has been in regards to those things. And if you're trying to answer the question, is it worth it to live in Chicago? The first thing that you should do is question what your intentions are or what you wanna get out of the experience. Personally, I would say, yes, I do think that it is worth it. I'm glad that I did this while I was younger as opposed to staying in one place until I was older and then kind of exploring. But everybody is different and I think that it's very important to make informed decisions, especially when there's a lot of money at stake. I've made more videos, maybe more like informative videos about living in Chicago that I will link down below if you're curious. And if you have any specific questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below or you can always uh, direct message me on Instagram. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna be notified about future videos, please hit that subscribe button below. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.